Hi there, it's Tiffany from Daisy Farm Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to make this velvet twist headband using a wide half double crochet stitch or a half double crochet worked in between the posts. I am using Burnout Baby Velvet, which is washable. I'm using the 3.5 ounce skein and I am using a, um, where's our hook? Right here, H slash eight, and that is a five millimeter hook. And um, let's get started with 20 chains. So since this is a great beginner project, I'm going to just start from the very beginning and show you that you start with a simple slip knot that I you just wrap it around, you keep the tail down this way, wrap your yarn and then just push half of it through, kind of grab that loop and pull down, make, make a slip knot there and then tighten it up on your hook, okay? Then you will wrap your yarn around your finger and then grab and we'll work our 20 chains. All right, I have my 20 chains and they are measuring five inches. That's about the width that I like to make these headbands. So with 20 chains, we will start in the second, third chain from the hook. And they are, it's velvet's a little bit tricky to work with, so kind of fill with your fingers down to that third stitch. Just work underneath the top loop and we will work regular half double crochets into the top of each chain working down the row. So that means since we chain 20, but we're starting in the third chain, you will make 18 half double crochets. So one more time, I'll make one. If you're a beginner, I'm yarning over, inserting my hook under the top loop, yarning over, pulling up a loop, I'm yarning over and pulling through all three loops. So continue doing that in each chain space to the end of the row. All right, I'm here at the end of the row and to turn the row, I'll simply add two chains and then turn my work towards me like a page in the book, like you're turning a page in a book, and we'll yarn over. And now this is where we'll start what's called the wide half double crochet, because you will work underneath all the loops, kind of into the largest hole that you can find that's to the left of that first post down there. The vertical part of a stitch is called a post. So I know the velvet is furry and it's a little bit hard to see. You'll want to feel for these, this space, this just that large space right under there. You will work into those spaces. I love this stitch, however, for velvet because velvet has a tendency to slip free because it's so slippery and soft. And this seems to be a really great stitch to use for it. We can keep the stitches relatively tight and locked down and we're kind of, you know, going underneath all of those loops to really keep them more secure. So I will continue working down and I just want to make sure I show you where the last stitch is worked and then that way your sides are always straight. Okay, I've worked all the way to the end of the row and remember those two chains we skipped over at the very first and started in the third chain from the hook? Well, here they are, 
kind of going up the side and here's that first stitch, we will work to the left of that stitch and underneath those chains. And as the rows go by, they are your turning chains. And that is where your last stitch is worked at the end of every row. So here I'm chaining two. I will turn my work and I will continue to work underneath all of the loops that a half double crochet makes and in between the posts, widening out the half double crochet. I guess we call it this because in, in double crochet, the same thing, it's called a wide double crochet. Okay, continue working until your headband um, will stretch to about 21 inches or the circumference of your head. I have one that I've been working on and let me show you what I mean or well measurements wise because you know what it is really tricky to count rows in velvet because it's so furry so I'd really rather you just work to measurements. So our headband is going to be five inches across and if you take your measurement my head circumference is about 21 and a half inches. 22 is average so what I like to do, if you're not just going to, going to measure it around your head, I will go ahead and lay this or say you're making it for somebody else. So right now it's 19 inches, but if I can stretch it and pull, okay, just a minute, my tape is moving. If I can stretch it and pull it out to about 22 inches, then I know that that's gonna be a good um, width. Mainly because, you know, you, you don't want your headband too loose on the person's head. You want it to be tight. So I am just going to suggest that you do that. You find your measurements, and then that way you can make this for little kids. Um, there are charts, and I will have them in the blog post, um, from the Craft Yarn Council with the suggested and average head circumference sizes so that you can work from there. And possibly for a child, I would probably only make the headband four inches wide um, for maybe anybody under the age of five. I made these for my nieces. They are six and eight, and this width was perfect for them. They, they liked that a lot. Okay, so I'm at the end, and what I'm going to do is pull a really long loop because um, I'm going to use this tail for sewing. So I'll pull that out. And I've got my long tail, just kind of finished that off. Then of course we have our, our starting tail. So all you need to do to get the twist, oh, and did I say you'll, you'll need a tapestry needle and thread the tapestry needle with your yarn. So what I've done, so you just need to fold your headband in half, like so, match the corner kind of, you know, make it flat. And you are wrapping this end around, just like that, kind of keep it even. And then you're wrapping this end to the front. So we're making it into kind of a little sandwich. All right, take your um, tapestry needle and just thread it through all four layers and you will just work in and out through all four of these layers like so get that one out of your way so i like to work down working in and out this way. And when I get to the end and meet up with that other tail, I'll, I'll stop and tie a knot in it just to make sure it's extra secure before I work my way back. You know, I like to work on back up the other side. Okay, so here we are. I think I'll go one more. Kind of have to push that over there. 
we pull this through. Take the time and just knot this here just to make sure our ends are really secure. Maybe one more time. Okay, and I can cut this off now. This will not be seen, so I'll just clip that off. And then I like to just work back one more time and I kind of, um, you can go in and out or go around and around this time, just to make sure it's extra secure. That's good. And then weave my way back through a little bit and just kind of hide that end underneath there. It's not going to pull. It won't pull out. Maybe I'll go back this way just a little bit. That's it. Okay, I'll trim that off. There we go. Now here's the magic part. So that's the inside. So now we'll just turn it inside out. Push that through. And you end up with the cutest little knot. on your headband. I'm gonna pull that, there you go. So this is another easy way, check out my other video, it's actually the same um, technique, but this is the other, it's just a little bit different stitch to get a little bit more ribbing if you like it, if you like that. So anyway, here is the wide half double crochet version of the velvet twist headband. All right, I hope you have success with this. As always, we love to see your projects. Come and tag us. Use hashtag Daisy Farm Crafts on Instagram or um, come and share it to our Facebook wall. And if you need further help, we have a Facebook group that you are more than welcome to join. We love that a community where I think we're up to 10,000 people that are making Daisy Farm patterns and they are sharing their tips uh, and things that they've come up with. It's wonderful to see all the different color combinations of things. Helps you to just get a few more ideas on Daisy Farm patterns. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and you have a good day.